Salesforce Space Station. Hi everyone, on this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure your personal email signature in Salesforce. So uh, the list of topics to discuss will be uh, where to add your email signature, how to add images in your email signature, the considerations when using email signature, and how to configure or further customize your email signature. So let's dive into it. So number uh, first topic to discuss would be where to add your email signature. So from your Salesforce page, just go to your um, icon on the upper right side and then click on settings. Once you're here from the quick find box, search for email. And then under my email settings, you should be able to see the email signature section where you can add your email signature. So you can add um, text here, but also as part of our top uh, second topic would be um, how to add images in your email signature. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So for adding email um, um, image in your email signature, we need to use this code snippet. So this is where you're going to input the um, public link of the image that you're trying to um, use for your email signature. So in order to get that link, um, you need to upload the image that you wanted to use in Salesforce files. So for the quick find box, just search for files and you should be able to upload it here. Just click on upload and then choose from your local device. And once it's in Salesforce, you can select it. So for example, I will be using this one. I already uploaded one. And then from um, from the top side, there's a public link um, button here. Just click on it. So if you haven't generated a public link yet, uh, this copy link button will be replaced by generate public link. So just click on that. Uh, it will just take a few seconds. And then after that, it will show you the link. So once that is generated, just click on copy link, open a new tab, and then access that link. Once you are in the image link, just let it load. And then once it previewed, you just need to right click on the image and click on copy image address. And then go back to my email setting and then uh, insert the uh, link that you copied from the image and then click save so once that is added we will now be able to see that the image has been added to our email signature so to check that just go to any call, uh, any uh, record that has an email action so for this example, I went to contact and there's an email action here. Just open it and you should be able to see that email signature here. So this is uh, can be further customized. As you can see, it's too large, but you can, you, you can definitely um, make it smaller and fit the whole screen. So for the next topic, we will be um, tackling considerations when using email signature and uh, also some limitations. So email signature does not work if a template is selected unless the signature is included in the template. So uh, for example, um, I'll be using an email signature after I loaded the um, the email section. So to add email, sign uh, email template, uh, just go to this button, just click in this button, and then you can choose the, the, the template that you want to use. So since I'm um, um, recently used this one, it will be uh, displayed on recently used template. So let's just use this one and then click uh, insert. But as you can see, it is already telling you that the template will overwrite uh, all of the contents of the email. So you can see the, 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 the email signature was gone now. And the template was uh, took over to the, uh, the email body of your email. So number two consideration would be if an email is sent in plain text format, it will display the um, link. So that will be this one. Um, if, your, if your email was sent as a plain text, it will not render this image. Um, instead, it will just render this line of code. So just make sure that if you are using um, an image in your email signature, uh, to always send it out as an 
HTML email. Number three consideration is um, you can use the email signature, I mean the sender signature um, merge tags in your template in order to populate your email signature. So let's just go back here. This is what I'm talking about. So as, as you can see here, um, I uh, put this sender signature um, merge field here and it will uh, automatically pull my um, email signature once I send this email or this template. Uh, just uh, just a few consideration, considerations that uh, when you use the merge field, it will render it as text. Again, if it's as text, uh, it will not render this image. I mean, yes, it will not render this image link. It will just uh, put in your email signature this line of code. So once uh, once it's uh, once you send this one and you have an image in your email signature, it will be sent as link and not as an image. So that's uh, one of the limitations when using sender signature merge field. So let's go move on to the next topic. Uh, as I've mentioned, you can further customize your email signature. Um, if you know uh, how to do HTML coding, you can definitely do much, um, a, a lot more with the email signature. You can configure the text, uh, the text um, size. You can configure the text color and you can add more um, formatting into it. So uh, to test that one, I already have a readily available HTML code that I'll be using. So I'll be just pasting it here. So that will be the line of code that I created prior to this session. And I'm just going to use that as an example. Once I click save, I'm going to refresh this page and then open the email button again. As you can see, it now renders that uh, um, HTML code nicely in the email signature. So as I've mentioned, you can change the color of the text, you can change the size of the text, and of course, you can still add images in your email signature when using HTML code. So yeah, that's how you can uh, configure email signature. Um, I hope you guys learned something uh, on this video, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thank you. Sales for Space Station.